so the first kind of decision making statement is if statement so let us understand how does a if statement works it says that if statement is calculated on a basis of a condition or a boolean expression and how you write an if statement is that with a if keyword you provide a if keyword followed in brackets you write what is the condition if the condition is true please execute the block of statements written inside the braces and if it is not true please come outside the decision so let us see with an example how it was but before that we need to understand the flow of this if decision this diagram will enable you to understand it says that if the condition is true then please go execute the block of statements and then once the condition is done please execute it if condition is false then you need to come outside in this case the if condition will check only once that is if the condition is met it will execute the block of statements and come outside and if the condition is not met it will still come outside so let us see an example in this case we have created a class called test and under the main method we shall write an if condition for writing an if condition we use a keyword called if and in the brackets we provide the expression boolean expression whether it is true or false that is x is less than 20 but where is this x we need to first declare a variable to which we are trying to compare so we have declared a variable which is an integer type so first you declare a variable outside the if condition and once you have declared an initialized then you use this variable to compare with any other value and if that value returns true then it executes the rest of the statements so in this we have created an integer x which holds a value 10 and then in if condition you say if x value is less than 20 if x value which is 10 less than 20 or not yes x is less than 20 therefore it will go and print the statement or the block of statements that you write under the if condition if the value of x would have been 30 that is 30 is not less than 20 it would have not executed this block of statement and terminated with the program so let us execute this program practically to understand how an if condition works in this example we try explaining how if works so the class name is if example and then the main method under the main method we would be writing the code that needs to be executed we have created a variable x with a holding of value 10 now we need to check if x is less than 20 or not if yes then please print the statement so the if statement can be written with if keyword where i being in the lower case then in the braces we write down the condition if this condition is met or if the condition is true then the block of statements are executed if the condition is not met then it is terminated here x value is 10 it will check if x is less than 20 yes 10 is less than 20 it will go print the value of x and it says this yes we are in if statement it will not repeat the value or it will not increment the value because we have not provided any condition in order to increment or display the incremented value we use the for loop here we are just checking if the condition is met or not let us save this file and run it prints a value of x and it says if statement so if you want to modify you can say the value of x is so and so with a plus operator which will fetch the value let us save the file and again run so now it says the value of x is 10 and this is an if statement 